Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick haul from Ikea. I went there today because they were having a sale on their food, and unfortunately when I got there, a lot of this stuff was already gone. But I did wanna show you some of the things that I was able to pick up. I spent $75 and some change, so I will jump right in. So the first thing that I grabbed was um, these shredded potato pancakes. Cakes. I've never had them before. They were in the frozen food section and they look pretty good to me. So I wanted to give them a try. And then I just grabbed a bag of chips. They had several different varieties, but this was the one that sounded most interesting to me. They had just a plain potato chip and they had a, I think it was a cracked black pepper, but this one is pepper and leek and it sounded good, it's something different. So I was super disappointed because I did not get their meatballs and that was the entire reason for me going, their original meatballs, I should say. The only ones that they had available at the store were these chicken meatballs, which I have not tried before. And then they also had a veggie meatball. I did not get that one. Um, I asked the employee that worked there if they had any in the back and he said they did not and did not know when they would get them in again. So I got one bag of chicken meatballs, but I wanted to get a couple of bags of just their regular Swedish meatballs because I love them so much. They also did not have the frozen waffles that are shaped in, um, they're like the heart shaped frozen waffles. They didn't have those either. So I was super disappointed, but they did have this gingerbread cookie dough and it is it was in the frozen food section um, there's a little tray in here and I'm assuming they're little sheets of cookie dough I don't know I couldn't see through the packaging um, but this looked really good to me so I grabbed that and then they also had this milk chocolate bar with gingerbread crumbs and that sounded really good there was another chocolate bar that I was looking for and it had orange and um, almonds and I think it was a dark chocolate they were out of that too but I did pick up this one and then I have not seen these before but Howard and I like stuff like this and it is their oatmeal cookies with cinnamon sounded pretty tasty and then I really like sour stuff and so um, these are like sour gummy candy and you get strawberry pear cherry black currant lemon and orange flavor and they're really hard. I like a really hard gummy bear. I don't like them really soft. So I haven't tried these before and I'm excited to try them. And then I also grabbed this. It just says savory sauce mix and you can use it with your, um, with your meatballs and uh, mashed potatoes. And they also sold ligandberry jam, which I did not pick that up. Ligandberry, if you're wondering, is kind of in the same family as cranberries from what I understand. So grab that. And then I just grabbed um, this gingerbread cookie set. And I think it was like $3.49. And so they also had gingerbread house sets as well. But I grabbed this one, I thought it was super cute. And let me see if I can show you the side. You can kind of see the cookies in there. Then I grabbed some non-food items. This is a little two foot tall Christmas tree and the branches aren't pulled out. Um, it's artificial and it really feels good though. It feels kind of rubbery. Um, so they had these for $14.99 and then I forgot to grab a pot to put it in. And then I just grabbed these little ornaments for the tree. They had these, these are dishcloths. And I bought some of these years ago, not the Christmas decorations, but just the regular ones. So they're disposable. So you just use them for a little while and then you get rid of them. But I like them because of little Santa Clauses. I thought they were super cute. And I think these were 99 cents each. Then I grabbed these little cups for Harrison. They're a really hard plastic. I think you get six of them. Yep, six in here and he's not at the age where he's um, drinking out of cups yet. He's 10 months old, but he will be soon. And I think these were $1.49, don't quote me on that. And then I saw this really cute placemat for him as well and I couldn't pass it up. I think it was $1.99 and you just wipe it off. Um, then I needed a really good wooden spoon and this one was $1.99. It said that you can use it in nonstick skillets and woks and things like that and it's really sturdy. So I grabbed that. Another thing that I grabbed was this baking mat and so you can kind of see the picture there. So 
Um, let me see, it was Aldi. Aldi had baking mats on sale. I missed them, I didn't pick it up. Um, wasn't able to pick it up, I should say, and they were $9.99, so I was super disappointed. But I saw that Ikea had these on sale. Um, actually, not on sale. They sell them, so they weren't on sale. I think it was $6.99, so it was cheaper than Aldi. And it's the same dimensions, 24 by 18, and I saved 3 bucks. And then, as you can see, it has little measurements on there for when you're rolling out pie crust or whatever it is. So I was so excited to see this. And then I grabbed these little spoons for Harrison as well. I really wanted these cookie cutters, so I'm glad, glad that I was able to get them. They are snowflakes. I'm trying to get the glare off. So they're little snowflakes, and they come in their own tin, which I love. So they're sitting in the um, tin, and then this is the lid right here. And I think you get, I can't see, is it five? I think it may be five. So a large snowflake and in the very middle is a little star. So I was really excited about that because I love making Christmas cookies. And last year I did not decorate for Christmas. I didn't bake cookies because I was about eight months pregnant and I just did not feel like it. So this year I feel like I'm kind of making up for lost time. I also grabbed some of these uh, cookie cutters as well because I think it, there's five in here and as you can see they're different sizes. I think this was like two or three ninety nine. I can't remember. Um, but I did. I don't have any of these and um, I like to make stuff and bake stuff and this is great for cutting out pastry and dough and for making little pies and things like that. And then the last thing that I picked up from Ikea is again for Harrison. You can't really see it well in this little bag, but this is a little bib. So it's a, like a rubber bib, a little frog. And then if you flip it over, you get a little spoon and fork I think in there. This is a little sippy cup. And then this is a bowl right here. And I think this was $2.99, so it was pretty inexpensive. So anyway, this is all that I picked up from Ikea. Like I said, I'm disappointed because a lot of the food products were gone, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I plan on making another trip soon to see if I can pick up the stuff that they didn't have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.